I'm like, I'm not going to wear a shirt for the first time I'm doing a special. <laughs> so I didn't wear it. And all my agents and managers tried to talk me out of it. All of them. So then the special, the special does well, obviously. And the shows go, and, and people recognize me now. And like when I get stopped at, at, at the airport, they're like, oh, I didn't recognize you without a shirt. Sure yeah. And so now, and now I'm doing my next special. We're shooting it in February. We were t taping it last night through High Noon Entertainment. The guys that worked there were helping me out with it. And, uh, and all my managers or agents are like, you're definitely doing your special with your shirt off. Right. I was like, really? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a great hook. Man. Yeah. It, it, it really is. If I thought it out like that, I would say, yes, thank you. But I never really, I just was like, I just figured people would see me shirtless and turn it off. No, it's the opposite. <laughs> if I'm flipping through, you know, a thousand Dude, shirts, yeah. flip, flip, flip. There's a guy Stop. going to stand up with his shirt off. I'm watching that. Can I tell you, there's a guy that stole my, I met my hour special and put it on YouTube. It's this guy from Vietnam. And, and it got, it, they take it down every time, Showtime takes it down. But it's got the most views ever. And the reason is he calls it Funny Naked Man Talking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I wish I had you as a marketing consultant. That's funny. Now, this machine video that we, that, that's up here on the screen, that's four years ago. Well, which one? The one uh, it's it on animated? YouTube. Um, no, Bert Kreischer. Uh, I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't know how long I'm on that stage. Is. I'm on stage. You're on stage with your yeah, shirt yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. What, uh, there's one where it's my shirt's off. Um, and that one's recent. That's I think that one's on Facebook. It's got like 29 million views. And then these kids have sites on Facebook where they just post videos, and man, they put it up there and it gets like 80 million views. That's and wow. It really you can tell you can tell I can tell when someone's posted one because you start getting recognized a lot. Like like you'll be walking down the street and people just and down the street and people are like the machine and you're like oh someone must have posted one. I recognize those nipples. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you've lost here? weight since this. I have lost weight since yeah. then. Thank you. Yeah. I was in a weight loss challenge with my best friend. My best friend's a comic named Tom Segura. I don't know if you know who he is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Tom, here. yeah. yeah. Tom and I uh, we had a weight loss challenge. Tom started fat shaming me online. Oddly enough, he thought it funny to change my name from Bert Kreischer to Bert Chrysler. <laughs> and so he would call me Burt Chrysler anywhere. I like on TV, did it on Conan, and uh, would just call me fat. And the fat shaming works. We both lost forty pounds. Forty wow. pounds, yeah. yeah. And it's noticeable from that video to right now. Yeah, yeah. We both good lost for you, man. I feel, I feel great. I mean, yeah, it really helped with my self esteem, losing the weight. Well, you have you had self esteem problems. You do shows with your shirt off. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <obviously. laughs> I'm good. I'm in therapy. <laughs> I'm a nightmare. <laughs> That's awesome, man. That's funny. Really, really. I love the hook, dude. Oh, Bert, you. you know, I, I've, I've seen your name on social media a lot. Yeah. I've never seen this video. I haven't seen your Showtime special, but I see your name. Like, other comics post a lot of stuff about you. Yeah, I'm a, I, like, I think I think I get the rap as, like, I'm a really good guy. Like, I, and, and I think that's the one thing any comic would say about me is, like, I'm a really nice, sweet person. Mm -hmm. And so I think no one really has anything bad. Well, there are a couple of people that have bad things to say about me, but... Uh, but I think I have a lot of friends in comedy. So I think when things started happening for me, I think a lot of people were very happy for me. And they were like, oh. Good what, for you, man. I happen cool. to a good guy, you know. I don't steal. I write my own material. I don't talk behind anyone's back bad. And so this has been an interesting interview because I, like, I feel like I've been more vulnerable in this interview than I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever taken your shirt off for a radio interview? Yeah. Oh, then see, you should be fine. No, no, no. No, but I like the, the line of questioning. I've been very honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. usually people just say, like, tell a machine story. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I keep staring at your nipples, so that's probably another They're awkward They're solid thing. nipples. They are solid. They're big. See, Tom lost more weight than I did, but his um, breasts lost their integrity. So they fell off to the side. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. So when he takes his shirt off, it looks like a car driving down the street with his doors open. <laughs> He won't take his shirt off. Ask him. He's got doing his special here soon, I think. In a couple weeks. I think special. Yeah. He's shooting a special for Netflix here. Should we ask right. him to take his shirt off when he yeah. comes in? See what he says. He'll we say will. no. He'll say no. <laughs> He'll say no. He's dead inside. So I'll say Bert told me he was. <laughs> Bert Kreischer's with his Comedy Works downtown. He's got a show tomorrow. The rest are sold out. Uh, get your tickets at ComedyWorks.com. More with Bert coming up here. Rick Lewis Show, 103.5 The Fox.